Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. We are going to discuss five Amazon Program Manager interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. What are some of the methods you use to deliver effective communication? Large enterprises such as Amazon rely on the communication skills of their employees. This is especially important for those who work in a leadership capacity and have responsibility for communicating information regarding large scale programs. Interviewers ask this question to ensure the candidate they select has an effective communication strategy that will add value immediately if hired for the program manager position. I use several methods to communicate effectively with my fellow team members, my partners, my management, and my clients. First, I take the time to get to know the people I communicate most frequently. I customize my approach to match what works best for them as much as possible. I find that the effort I take in that area is often appreciated and helps to minimize confusion and miscommunication. Second, I rely on direct, concise, and headline-driven communication. I make sure the key points are highlighted and easy to follow. I then back up my points with additional information as necessary. Lastly, I'm authentic and empathetic in my approach. This helps to build trust and opens the door for balanced and healthy two-way communication. I'm honest when I disagree and I commit to my views. However, I remain open to the ideas of others and I am comfortable admitting when I am wrong. Question number two. Program managers at Amazon are expected to operate with minimal guidance. How do you feel about working mostly autonomously? Amazon expects their program managers to hit the ground running and take action with limited guidance. Most program manager job descriptions at Amazon list this as a requirement of the role. Interviewers ask this question to determine if a candidate is comfortable working in this type of environment. I am known for taking my assignments and running with them. I work with my senior leaders for guidance at the beginning of a new project or program and then follow through on my commitments to the best of my ability. When needed, I do research or reach out to subject matter experts for help. I lean on my many years of experience and my intuition to know when to ask for managerial support, but I always pair that with showing initiative and doing as much as possible on my own. Question number three. What are some ways you would coordinate and drive accountability across the various groups within your programs? Developing and fostering accountable behaviors is a duty that many program manager candidates will be expected to perform at Amazon. Interviewers ask this question to determine how a candidate envisions they will be able to foster a fully accountable environment. As a program manager at Amazon, I would drive accountability in a number of ways. First, I would foster an environment of accountability between my teams and our stakeholders. This would include setting specific goals and tracking metrics to measure our team's performance against them. I would ensure that we meet regularly to discuss progress and address any issues as early as possible. I would also encourage our stakeholders to be accountable for their participation in the development process. I would ask them to be accountable for regular access to information and subject matter experts as needed. On a team level, I would encourage our team leaders to ask everyone to make specific commitments, be accountable to them, and hold regular retrospectives. I would personally demonstrate accountability by delivering on the commitments I'd make to my teammates. I would also leverage transparency and authentic ownership of any mistakes I make in an effort to inspire the same behaviors in others. Question number four. Please describe your experience managing projects and programs. This question is asked to assess the level of responsibility a program manager has had in previous roles. Remember to include examples of the various types of projects you have led, including operations, technical, financial, HR, etc. Also be sure to describe your experience leading internal projects, customer facing projects, and those that require partnership with third party vendors. Finally, be sure to offer the interviewer a sense of the scale of the programs or projects you had responsibility for. I began working as a project manager within the properties division of a large enterprise. I managed projects for initiatives such as large office moves, new system rollouts, and major renovations. The budgets for these types of projects varied from several hundred thousand dollars to multi-million. 
I coordinate the various tasks between the various stakeholder groups, other project managers in my area, and the groups we relied on to handle construction and our technology needs. In my current role at XYZ Company, I'm a program manager within the Workspace Operations Group. My main focus is to coordinate projects that enhance the workplace experience of my fellow employees. There are four project managers that report directly to me, and we collectively represent a portfolio of anywhere between 10 and 20 projects in flight at any given time. I report directly to a senior manager within the Workspace PMO, and I'm responsible for developing roadmaps, tracking progress, establishing budgets, delivering executive presentations, and ensuring project management standards are upheld. Question number five, what strategic planning methods do you have experience facilitating? Strategic analysis is a key skill set for a program manager. Many program level management roles at Amazon specifically mention this skill set within the job description. Interviewers ask this question to determine the depth of a candidate's experience in this area. I have experience working with business stakeholders to facilitate SWOT analysis sessions. In these sessions, we develop lists of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and then determine their impacts on the business. I've also worked with the OKR method to develop objectives and key results. This model is useful for helping me develop the key performance indicators for the products I am responsible for. My background as an analyst helps me to understand how to analyze large data sets and look for trends or data points that indicate various operational problems exist within an organization. From there, I have extensive experience partnering with various subject matter experts to drive out strategic plans for a resolution that specifically aims to resolve issues and aligns with business goals. From an agile methodology perspective, I have experience facilitating user story mapping sessions driving out product development epics, and coordinating release plans across the teams within my program. All of the content in this video can be found on our website, mockquestions.com. There, you can find 25 more questions that will help you prepare for your job interview. We really do wish you the best of luck, and thank you for watching.